Hello everyone, I am Tian Hao Luo from Nanjing University. Today I will talk about neural network pruning with ratio connections and limited data. In this paper, we will address two open issues of model pruning. The first problem is about how to prune residual connections due to the existence of shortcut connection. The channel numbers of all residual blocks in the same stage need to be consistent in order to finish the sum operation. Hence, pruning residual connection is very difficult. Most previous methods only focus on reducing channels inside the residual block, leaving its output dimension unchanged. Obviously, representation ability of middle layers inside the hourglass structure is limited. We believe prune channels both inside and outside the bottleneck is a bad choice. The second problem is about how to prune with limited data. We observed an interesting phenomenon. If we directly prune CNN models on a small dataset, its accuracy is usually worse than fine-tuning a small model which is pruned on a large dataset. However, Pruning on the small dataset is more common in practice. There are two application scenarios. Firstly, the large dataset may be unavailable due to some practical issues. Secondly, training on the large dataset is very expensive. We propose code to solve these two problems. In order to solve the first problem, we propose a global criterion to evaluate the importance of multiple channels simultaneously. Firstly, let's focus on the output dimension, namely the green numbers in the left figure. We should prune these channels simultaneously. For example, if we want to calculate the importance score of the first dimension, we need to prune the first output channel of the sample layer block 1 and block 2 simultaneously. So we need a global criterion to evaluate the importance of pruned channels. We focus on the network output. If there is no obvious change in the output probability after removing some filters, we can believe these filters are less important. So we propose a KL divergence based criterion as the importance score. As for those channels inside the bottleneck, we just follow previous methods. We will remove one filter of the current layer and then calculate the importance score. This process will be repeated filter by filter and layer by layer. The second problem is about pruning with limited data. We can expand the small dataset with several image transformation techniques and use knowledge distillation to fine tune the pruned model. However, the logic of teach model may be noisy because the teach model is not trained on this expanded dataset. So, we propose a label refinement approach to avoid the influence of noisy label. We will also update the logic during model fine tuning. However, updating logic is dangerous if the student model is not accurate enough. So we divide the fine tuning process into two steps. Firstly, we should fine tune the pruned model on the original dataset to obtain an accurate model. Then this model will be fine tuned on the expanded dataset to further improve its accuracy. We prune ResNet 50 on ImageNet with standard pruning process to verify the effectiveness of our wallet structure. That's to say, we will not use mixed-up knowledge distillation or label refinement. Experimental results show that our method is faster, smaller, and more accurate than previous our class structure. We then study the performance of our method on small datasets. The highlighted results demonstrate that directly pruning on small datasets is usually worse than fine tuning an ImageNet pre trained model. With our method, we can achieve comparable or even better results on the small datasets, which is very useful in many real world scenarios. Thank you. For more details, welcome to our poster.